excellencies, distinguished participants, uh, dear friends of basic sciences and sustainable development. Of course, it's a great pleasure for me to be with you today at the formal opening of the International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development, representing here CERN, the European Laboratory for Particle Physics. And it's, of course, a particular pleasure and a privilege for CERN to be represented here given the key role that UNESCO has played in the establishment of our organization close to 70 years ago, and our convention is deposited here. The dire Deputy Director General also mentioned that earlier today. And of course, I want to thank first and foremost, Michel for his leadership, uh, the International Union for, uh, of Pure and Applied Physics, and the full coalition of partners uh, for behind the International Year for the vision that really underlines this, uh, underlies this initiative. It's their determination, combined of course with the support of UNESCO and all the member states of the United Nations under the leadership of Honduras that has now brought us this very timely opportunity for highlighting the central role of fundamental research in advancing the sustainable development goals. And as we have heard throughout the day with very compelling uh, examples, fundamental research is essential for societal transformation, drives innovation through technological development, it provides educational opportunities and capacity building, and it enables as well as thrives on collaboration across borders. And of course, the technological and scientific advances at CERN have also had a very profound societal impact. We've heard many of them highlighted in the panel just before by, by Ursula, from medical diagnostics, imaging, therapy, computing, to material science, and also environmental protection, just to mention a couple of areas. And of course, these accomplishments are the results of the active participation of our, in our scientific programs of researchers from institutes and universities in our member states, our associate member states, and will beyond, and it's really a demonstration of the inherent value of collaboration. And the International Year will allow all of us to showcase this wide-ranging and very deep societal impact of fundamental research, but also crucially, and we've heard this many times throughout the day, it will allow us to promote the values that underpin this impact. Analytical thinking, openness, inclusion, and very importantly, diversity. A commitment to open science, to uh, the sharing of results of innovation is indispensable to really unlock this potential of fundamental research in support of sustainable development. And Shamila spoke very eloquently to this this morning. I can certainly only echo her call for all of us to join this movement for open science. Now, crucially, the International Year should empower young people of all backgrounds to engage with science and to take part in the journey of scientific inquiry. And we need an emphasis on activities that inspire young people and break down the barriers that may currently prevent them from taking part. The International Year of Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development, of course, not an end in and of itself. It's a tool to enable all of us to uh, bring fundamental research closer to serving humanity to the best, uh, to the best of its ability. And we're honored that UPAP has chosen to host the closing of the International Year at CERN in October of 2023. The ceremony will allow us to take stock, to assess the impact of the International Year, and also examine how we will use the outcomes for the years to come. And we look forward to playing a very active role throughout the year, and we look forward to welcoming all of you at the new Science, Education, and Outreach Center at CERN, the CERN Science Gateway, so that we can close the year together. Thank you. <laughs>